the issue is that women go on a regular basis to their GYN and they might have an abnormal HPV screen, which is often coupled with what's called a pap smear, where we do a little um, scraping of the inside of the cervical canal and we look at the cells. If one of those is positive for something abnormal, whether it's HPV being present, especially if it's one of the higher risk strains, 16 and 18 are the two that are most, um, uh, most closely associated with cervical cancer, or if the pap smear shows abnormal cells, you're going to be told to come back at six or 12 month intervals. But nothing is given to you in the meantime to try to change this. So I started reframing this and Mimi and I, I think the reason that we really decided to work on this together is we don't see this as a inevitable disease process that's just a cascade of things that leads to cervical cancer. We see this as a signal that something is up with your immune health. Something is up with you not sleeping well or you not eating the right food or maybe you're not managing stress or setting emotional boundaries well. Maybe you're carrying shame. Maybe your mindset's not dialed in. And in the time that you're waiting from that initial abnormal screen to the next visit, there should be plenty you can do in the meantime. But our doctors, but the people that trained me, we were not giving out any of that information, which is why I became so invested in this topic. 